Okay, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. So if you're new here, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment to support the channel. Also, please subscribe to my other channel. I will leave a link in the description down below or the pinned comment. So yeah, so we're going to get the eternal uh, wake stone. So it's not this one. It's just the normal wake stone. I uh, don't have the inventory right now to save some weight. Uh, but uh, and the eternal wake stone revives uh, more than one uh, person. So if you're in a team, Whatever the outcome. if you use the eternal wake stone, it revives everyone. <clears throat> so the eternal wake stone is be is special purposes for the cities. Uh, so when a dragon plague strikes your your city when you sleep. When your pawn is infected by dragon sickness, dragon aids, uh, the uh, uh, the entire town will be dead, but there will still be some uh, uh, people alive for some reason. And uh, the the the, you know, the the stores like people in the stores respawn uh, for and uh, different NPCs will take over for the main. And PCs uh, for the main story and PCs they will respawn in like a week or some or something. Okay, so how to get the the eternal wake stone? So first you travel here, then go north and uh, mount mount. So then north of mount north is uh, Annie's house. The sorcerer girl will you would get a quest for the sorcerer's ultimate spell uh, one of the spells so there are two spells and then go all the way here so this is the uh, temple or shrine where the sphinx is initially located and that's how to start the sphinx quest so there's like five or six riddles so we need you need to solve that, all that. So you need the uh, uh, fairy stone, fairy stones, and uh, port crystals for the quest. In case uh, you need to teleport back and forth to towns for to solve the uh, the quest that the uh, sphinx gives. So they are tricky. So we'll just check guides how to solve it. You know, just, just to save some time. You know. Times yes. see if it's better since we're all busy. But yeah, if you want, go knock, go knock yourself out. Now don't look at guides. But know that if you fail, so you might not go to the second location. Uh, you might not be able to start the second part of the Sphinx quest line if you fail. So or do something uh, wrong. So uh, after you finish all the quests there, you go from check my dress down all the way up here and then this path here but with the rocks so then you go here and the front of your shrine so right here will be the space will be here so that's uh, one of the riddles uh, for the second location of the space new abode as she says so there's like five i think five or six uh, riddles here so <coughs> You solve all of them and then and then to open the last chest with the eternal wake stone you kill the sphinx with the unmaking arrows so we can we cannot unspoil that because you know how how are you going to know so yeah so yeah. you can kill the sphinx with the unmaking arrow or uh, there's a guy there that you can kill the sphinx uh, just by if you don't attack her face. So if you attack her face, uh, she'll run away. Uh, so I uh, use the unmaking arrow. So that I will uh, experience it using that about the uh, items. So that's it. So the eternal wake stone. So additional, the, the eternal wake stone can be duplicated here in the forgery. Check my press down and 
and it cost like 30,000 gold so I made like two copies two or three last place and then uh, burn away to that new at the start of the playthrough so second playthrough and then just uh, yesterday got all that new so spent like another week stone so yeah turn on week stone so the good thing about the turn on week stone it's not a limited use but it, you can duplicate it eternally so maybe that's why it's called eternal week stone and then uh, it did uh, when people died you know it like revived like 200 plus citizens wow so uh, uh, you can you know uh, duplicate it as long as you have the goal but that's quite an investment so i have your total of uh, 522 npcs revived from two eternal wake stones so sometimes you know uh, quest gets you know, of course gets locked or bug so if you really don't know who it is uh, but you know it's which town it is uh, that person is from uh, that quest is from so you just you use the eternal like stone and it revives everything in that town everyone at that town so you can continue your, your quest so uh, that's it so uh, you can also use the eternal like stone to revive you and your party, but it's 30,000 gold. So, but I have a exploit for the normal wake stone, so I'll, I'll leave the link in the description so you can get the limited wake stone. But yeah, it's complete. I don't know if this thing will give me. Another week, so I don't know, but Hold a moment. Have we already found what's being asked of us here? A way to get the the ten weeks done. So I think we need at least one per playthrough. So yeah, so good luck, you know, if, if your cities get nuked by Dragon's Plague, you know. <laughs> I think the yeah the, the main main character is responsible. So the story of main story that yeah, so we have another look to, around to start the game. Me thinks this place has more to that's offer. Really Indeed. Let us know if we can go to the store. Yeah. Do you see the other? Let's get this.